I recently made a video about why you should start freelancing, especially if you are a Ghanaian. Most of the comments that I received was how to start freelancing, especially with Fiverr. In this video, I'm going to walk you through a step-by-step -step process on how to create a Fiverr account and how to become a seller on Fiverr. And this is coming up. <laughs> Hi everybody, you know Saint here and I've been working as a freelancer for the past six years. I've worked on Fiverr for more than five years and this is my experience on how you can create a Fiverr account and become a seller. I believe you should watch this video because personally I'm a seller on Fiverr and I would share my experience with you as well in this video. But that said, let's get into the video on how to create a Fiverr account and become a seller. Fiverr has been helpful both as a full-time hustle and a side hustle now. So if you're a designer and you're just starting out, Fiverr might be a good place to start. So let's get into the video. Now to create a Fiverr account, you need to head over to fiverr.com. I'm as well going to link a link in the description if you want to use that. But there is a catch to that, which I'll explain later in the subsequent video of this. It comes with a giveaway. So if I want to use the link in the description. Now you can join Fiverr as someone who wants to buy or you want to become a seller. If you join just like that, you will only be able to use your account to buy stuff from Fiverr and you not be able to sell stuff on Fiverr. In this case, you want to sell. So we are going to use the become a seller option. So you can join and later on become a seller or you can go ahead and click on become a seller. All right. So you're going to bring your skill and we'll make your earning easier now let me put this across before you even think about signing up for fiverr make sure that you have what you want to provide at least you are good at something graphic design website design transcription anything that you can a skill that you can exchange for money programming and so many it skills once you figure that out go ahead and click on become a seller now fiverr makes signing up easier for you you can automatically use your google account so you can continue with your google account or if you don't want to use that you can continue with your facebook apple id or your email now we want to make it so easier for us we want to link it to our gmail so we'll go ahead and click on continue with google you already see from here that i've signed in with my gmail so i can easily go ahead and continue with my google now you confirm your email and then you are going to be signed up okay so at this point you're going to start with your profile settings now you're going to choose a username mind you choosing a username is very important as you're not able to alter it later on so you need to think carefully about this one of the few things that works a lot is when you attach what you are doing to your username for instance I would say you know graphics and basically innocent graphics okay that is my fiverr profile name so if you are into programming let's say johnson programming or i transcribe innocent transcribe you you add that to your username so that it is easily searchable but of course just think through it make it as easy as possible so in this case we are going to go with you know designs let's see if that username is available someone else already taking this username so we can add something to it let's say a number or an underscore or something or better still let's change this to you know designs so instead of the s we are going to replace that with z and that has already been taken as well okay so i think a better option will be indo underscore designs this is available so you can so you can play around with the username that you want to choose and after you're done you can go ahead and click on create my account and voila your account has been created now fiverr is going to ask you whether you are going to be buying or selling just like i explained in the initial stages so we want to buy and sell so we will set up our account such that we'll be able to use it to buy later on i'll explain that later in this video so we move on to the next stage so here what do you plan to use fiverr for you can make it your primary job or business a side project or business or personal use you can choose this if you are using it to buy only you can make it a primary job or business because you want to operate this as a business so let's choose that and click on next so here how many people are going to work at your company is just you you are just starting out and then you can click on finish since we chose that we are doing this as a business fiverr is opting to promote us to fiverr pro but we want to stay on fiverr now you choose this option because you are beginning out okay or you are just starting out now we go ahead and we click on the become a seller okay so we are going to set up a seller profile now one beautiful thing about fiverr is how they walk you through the whole process so even without me explaining the first time that you just got into fiverr.com 
and you sign up you should be able to follow this process and then you should be able to get your fiverr set up so these are the things that we need to follow if you want to become a seller we go ahead and we click on continue on and just like i said fiverr will give you the guidelines all the guidelines that you need to know for instance you take your time in creating your profile here it says accurately describe your professional skills to help you get more clients and put a face to your name this is one important thing we will talk about that later so you take your time to read every instruction that is given to you over here and you go ahead and click on continue now let's talk about the things you want to steer clear of now these are very important thing and if possible screenshot this please or take a screenshot and constantly remind yourself of it the reason why i'm saying that is my first fire account we got to level two but permanently disabled because i did not adhere to one of these policies and that is the last one requesting to take communication and payment outside of fiverr so these are something that you need to take it's very serious if you want to grow your fiverr account to a very high level and become probably pro seller you just take your time to read all of this and continue now at this point you are going to fill your personal info and you see the completion rate here is 30. now fiverr requires that you get at least 65 percent before your profile will be considered as kind of legit okay now we need to fill all of these mandatory boxes and most of these are self-explanatory so you can walk through it and then fill it as required so the first one is going to be your name so let's go for say all right so this is also very important what do you want to be your display name now you remember you set up a username which is going to be what we will be known for but your display name is basically going to be something that people see when they come to your profile and thankfully this is changeable so you can basically choose anyone for it so let's say innocent cable attain. and if you've already built an audience that people know you by a certain name i recommend that you use that name so, so for instance many people know me by the name innocent so i'll go for innocent which is fine and your profile picture is also very important so you go ahead and choose a profile picture that is one professional headshot and looks good so in this case for instance i'm going to use just a random picture because of this tutorial so i'll click on the picture here and then i'll go to my pictures for instance and let's use this picture for instance so it is going to crop it out for me but use a much better one something that is quite zoomed in and looks more professional this is just the picture that i took and over here you're going to write a description now the description is basically about your work experience your projects that you've completed and your area of expertise so according to what you want to create gigs about you can actually write something very nice here make it as detailed as possible and as short as possible so for instance on my main fiverr account this is my description so it looks very simple and i'm detailing the number of years that i have in graphic design the number of projects that i've worked on and the different countries and people that i've worked with and then i added the expectation people should have when they contact me for design so let me just copy this and paste it in a uh, account process so you can write something like this or you can use this as a template and edit it to your so let's say you've worked on just 200 projects you've worked with people from about eight countries and then something like that you know just allow it to suit your personality and your experience and then over here you're going to add languages so i speak english you can select that and then you can choose fluent over here so you add your language and then if you speak any other language you can add it as well let's say you speak a bit of french okay so you can add that in your level very basic and then you can add it over here okay so once you're done with this part you can go ahead and continue now this part is going to be your professional info so what is your occupation you select that graphic design or graphics and design how many years are we talking about so i started somewhere around 2017 and till now i'm still doing it so you can choose two to five of your best skills in graphics and design so i'm going to go for business card and stationery book design flyer design i'll go for social media design packaging and label design and for your skills over here you are going to add a bit of them so i can add say photoshop so photoshop editing i do that your experience you can choose an intermediate expect you choose that so over here let me edit that for editing photoshop editing let's say intermediate update photoshop i hope you are getting the concept adobe photoshop you can choose expect over here and add so according to your scale if you can use illustrator adobe illustrator as well you can add that and then 
choose intermediate and add so you're going to basically list all of all of your skills which is going to speak to your clients your future clients on what to expect now for your education you're going to add your education so the country is going to be ghana and please on fiverr don't try to be so smart don't change your location and whatsoever to tailor anything you are going to get banned i promise you that so keep it as real as possible wherever you're applying from thankfully fiverr is open to many countries so just use your country okay so the name of the college or university let's say so the year you completed or the year you started you can choose let's say 2021 okay and the title over here is going to be a bsc and you can go ahead and add so if you have a master's if you have let's say a high school degree you can add all of that certification of award if you've done any certification and some of these things are not you see it doesn't have asterisk so it's not compulsory you can just leave some of them if you have a personal website too you can link it up and once you're done you can go ahead and click on continue now you see that we are still at 50 percent which means we need more okay so over here you can verify your social presence we've already linked our google account and you can add your facebook account as well but if you don't want to add your facebook you can go ahead and continue as well now here is the very important part your account security we've already added our email so our account is secured when it comes to email but to make it more secured and more legit your, your account i'm talking about your account add your phone number this is very important so you click on your phone number you choose the country and then you can put in your number i've already used my number so i'm not going to use this part but in the next video i'm going to show you how to create gigs and in that i'm going to verify the number and then probably and show you how to create a gig so once you've added your number and your account is secured you can then go ahead and continue on and create your first gig now this is going to remind you when i told you earlier that you need about 65 percent of your profile to continue in the next video i'm going to show you how to create a compelling gig and how to set up your profile in all to attract customers and give you some tips and tricks on how to get your first client on fiverr as well if that is something that you want to see you might want to subscribe and don't forget to turn on the notification so that you don't miss out don't forget that links to sign up to fiverr will be in the description use that link to sign up if you want to enter into the giveaway that i'll be doing in the next video i'll be getting value out of this video i'll see you guys in the next video it's innocent here and bye